And I set fire to the rain. And I got na 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 na. What is going on, Agents for Call Center? And in today's lesson, we are going to continue with our series of videos when you especially got 38 in your verse and test. And in this particular video, we are going to talk about your donut voice. Did you hear that? Your donut voice. Did you hear that? Y your tone of voice. That's right. We're going to be talking about your tone of voice and how this is going to help you out to improve your version score next time you take your version test. And we're starting right now. Okay. I'm going to put you on hold for a moment. In our previous video, we have talked about the grammar, we have talked about the vocabulary, we have talked about how to organize your ideas, and I'm going to be leaving those lessons in the description of this video. But before, before you go in over there, let's go ahead and finish this lesson, which is your tone of voice. Did that happen to you? When it comes to tone of voice, there are two main things that I want you to keep in your mind. The number one thing is you cannot speak the language English as if you were speaking Spanish. Repeat it one more time and repeat it with me. You cannot speak the language. You cannot speak English. Repeat it, you cannot speak English as if you were speaking Spanish. That is the number one problem and that's why you haven't reached that goal just yet. That's why your score at the Versa test was 38. Because you were speaking the targeted language, you were speaking English as if you were speaking Spanish. Let me give you one example. Imagine that the verse and test is asking you to repeat a sentence. And the sentence says, Carlos went to the party yesterday with his friends. And you, my friend, my future agent for call center, you say something like, Carlos went to the party with his friends. That is the problem that you have just right there. Number one, you didn't repeat it as it was and the recording. And if you don't follow that pattern, guess what? You're gonna be marked down. You're gonna be deducted. And you don't wanna be deducted. You know why? Because if you are being deducted, guess what? You don't get the 50 points that you need for your verse and test, and you're not gonna get that job at the call center. So be careful with that one. So that is the number one thing that you need to do. Stop speaking the language as if you were speaking your mother tongue, Spanish. Don't do that. It's horrible. And the second thing that you need to think about is to change your pitch, just like I am doing right now. You see? It's to change your pitch. You see that? You see how I actually change from being really low to being actually high? And this is pretty much what you need to do in your verse and test. Now, I'm gonna share with you two strategies that will help you out to improve this part. So let's move it on with Strategy number one. We're gonna be using our favorite app for this one. Hold on, wait a second, let me start recording my screen. Here we go. Where is it, where is it, where is it? I guess I found you. I found you, I found you, I found you. You see, you see, this is changing your pitch and you need to practice that. This is something that you can, you can master it as long as you start speaking the language, you can master it. Anyway, so we're gonna go to our app and the name of our app is gonna be English Conversation. This is gonna be the app that I want you to take a look at. And take a look at this, let me just go back. There are a lot of conversations where you can take advantage from and start practicing because guess what? And one more time, I'm not gonna get tired of repeating this. The verse and test is based on English daily conversation. It's just right here. Your following verse and test is gonna come out of this conversations. So I want you to take a look at the following. We're gonna go with trips and vacation. There are 20 conversations about that 
and we're gonna go with the first one a trip to the lake conversation afternoon picnic right we're gonna go with that one we're gonna wait until it loads we're waiting we're waiting oh my god what is going on with this why is it taking everlasting you see one more time i'm changing my pitch are you noticing that because if you're not noticing that i don't know i don't know how else i can i show you this in what other ways I can show you this. How I can change my pitch. Why, Why is it taking, taking the last time? I don't understand. Come, Come on, on, hurry up. up. I don't I have, have too much, much time. time. And then I'm gonna miss my... Oh, fuck. Alrighty. So in the meantime, as I was saying, the sky is so beautiful today. Do you want to get better at a foreign language? There you go. So here, here we, we are, are, right? So what I want you to do, the way that you're gonna practice this is by doing some shadowing. Okay, so we have a conversation just right here between Caddy and her mom. And what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna play the conversation and we're gonna try to play every single sentence at one time and then we are going to repeat it, but we are going to repeat it equally as we listen to the conversation. Pay attention to the first uh, sentence. Hold on, here we go. Mom, can we have a picnic this afternoon? Pay attention to that. Pay attention to that. Mom, can we have a picnic this afternoon? Repeat it, repeat it, come on. Mom, can we have a picnic this afternoon? One more time. Mom, can we have a picnic this afternoon? And by doing this, it's going to help you out to improve your tone of voice. Let's go ahead and play the following sentence. Listen. Sure, Kathy. Where should we have it? Did you listen to that? Sure, Katty. Sure, Katty. Sure, Katty. And then she says, where should we have it? Where should we have it? Where should we have it? And you continue along all the way down to the conversation until you are able to master the tone of voice. For example, how about the lake? Did you listen to that? How about the lake? How about the lake? How about the lake? Right? Try to mimic. The more you mimic, the better it's gonna be for your tone of voice. Listen to the last one. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Repeat it, come on, come on, come on, from home. That's a great idea. And this is how you can practice your tone and your voice. Now, let me show you another way that you can use, right, that you can use. Hold on, wait a second. All right, so let me show you another way that you can use in order for you to improve your tone of voice and your next verse and test. Let's do it. La 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 It's still loading. Oh my God, this is gonna take everlasting. All right, so here we are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, for me to remember, it's easier. Oh, oh. The way that you can also improve your tone of voice for the verse and test is by doing the following. You're gonna go to uh, Google Maps, and once we go there, do Google Maps, we are going to look for, let's say, we're gonna go to a United States uh, state, right? We're gonna go to a United States state. In this case, I'm gonna go to, uh, let's say, New York, right? New York, for example, right? And once I reach New York, I'm gonna go with the part that it says restaurants, right? I'm gonna go with restaurants. Here we go. And as you can see, every single restaurant has a review. For example, this one has 497 reviews, like 4.4 stars. This one has 567 reviews like 4.5 star. And this one, Valenga, for example, has 5,041 reviews, 4.5 stars, right? So I'm gonna go with this one, right? 99 cents French pizza. And I wanna read the reviews, right? I wanna, re I wanna read actually what people say about this. And this is going to help you out with the tone of voice. You're gonna be reading the reviews and you're gonna be pretending that you are the customer. Okay, for example, right, it has like one, two, three, four stars, right, three months ago, and this is Albert Look, and he, st and he says the following, still to the name, 99 cents for a large slice cheese pizza, you do get what you pay for, light on the cheese, and forget about getting a personalized extra topping on individual slices, it's whatever they made, got for a snack, street food, and since busy enough, 
to guarantee freshness, okay? So what do you think about that comment? Hmm. So this is the way that you're gonna read it, right? You're gonna be reading customer's review. We have another review over there, which is from uh, Wasilk, what? Wasilko, my God, what a, what a horrible name you have. Anyway, Wasilko, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, right, but that's true. Anyway, so their pizza have a lot of favor and delicious. Also, service was very fast. Hmm? The service was very fast on this. We have like four stars as well. 2 a.m. takeout order, $4.75 for a slide of pepperoni Hawaiian, uh, reasonable price and filling, okay? He's very happy with his slide of pizza, right? 99 cents, I think it's only for a plain margarita pizza slide. We have another example over here, Shayana Pan, she says, very good, simple pizza place. Cash only, no sits but you can stand and eat. Crust was very thin and delicious, just how I like it, all right? They provided oregano and Parmesan cheese for toppings. Overall, 10 out of 10. And then she says, prefer this pizza over Bletcher's that we had 15 minutes later, LOL. So, and this is the way that you can basically improve your tone of voice. Number one, using the app that I talked to you about, or number two, reading comments from restaurants review. Now, in order for me to guarantee that you are doing your homework, let me know in the comments the review that you read and write it down in your own words. Because guess what? If you read a review and you process the information and then you write it down in your own words, you're typing down in your own words in the comments down below, guess what? You are practicing for the version test. And if you do that, you're going to get higher next time you take the version test. Why? Because you're gonna get a higher score thanks to Nesting ACC. And that's why Future Agent for Call Center, you must subscribe to the channel because in our next video, I am going to teach you how you can improve your reading and comprehension skills so you better subscribe share among your friends and tap the notification bell so you won't miss more content about the call center industry especially how to get a higher score next time you take the first and test cheers remember remember to leave a comment down below about that restaurant you read about and Type it down, type it down, so I can actually read your comment and make sure that you're doing your homework and you're improving your English, so you're gonna be, you know, ready for your next version test. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Mm -hmm. Okay, may I place your hold just for a moment? Thank you very much, Caroline. I will get back to you in a minute. Si te gusta lo que ves, te la estás pasando muy pero muy bien y mejor aún, estás aprendiendo, no olvides de suscribirte y activa la campanita de notificaciones. Comenta, participa de las lecciones y comparte entre tus amigos y amigas interesados en aprender inglés para call center para que vayas ready a tu próxima entrevista de trabajo en un call center. Para más información solo busca el link en la descripción que yo te explico todo lo que tienes que saber sobre el 120 hour challenge call center interview preparation. Así que ahí tienes la invitación. Estás a tiempo de tomar una decisión y el no tomar acción también es tomar una decisión. See you around, ACCs. Thank you very much for holding, Caroline. From what I can see, your package is about to arrive within four hours time frame. How may I help you? Yeah, I bought a product from you guys and it's broken, but it's still under warranty. Okay, I'm going to put you on hold for a moment.